What's up YouTube? Matt Guyver here, coming at you with another Swiss Army Knife video. Uh, I wanted to do a quick review on the Victorinox Angler. It's a primarily a fisherman's Swiss Army Knife. Um, and I think that's what this really... You know, a lot of these Swiss Army Knives, they kind of market towards certain types of people, like the mountaineer or the climber or the hiker, but I think this one really is, or really should be, a tackle box multi-tool is what it's probably mainly marketed towards. Um, first I'm going to talk about size and weight and I'm going to go over all the tools and the functions and then I'm going to provide a quick demonstration. So first off it's a 91 millimeter Swiss Army knife, three and a half inches. It weighs 112.5 grams or 3.9 ounces. It's a four layer knife and it is approximately three quarters of an inch wide. Rusty old tape measure. <laughs> so let's get into the tools. First off, we're going to talk about the knife blade, classic Victorinox main blade with the Tang stamp, Victorinox Swiss made stainless, PCA Swiss. small pin blade yeah my hands are a little dirty I was digging around my tackle box earlier trying to find some stuff for this video um, next we're gonna talk about the opener layers you got your can opener flathead screwdriver and then the bottle opener with the larger flathead screwdriver and the wire stripper Oops. the half stop Got your corkscrew, which is pretty unique to this model. It's not, it's not very often you find a model that has a corkscrew and pliers that's under five layers. Got your reamer punch with sewing eye. The main event in these tools would be the Victorinox Swiss Army Knife pliers. It has the wire cutter at the base, needle nose, regular pliers, and then the wire crimper right here. You can use that to crimp wire or um, the butt caps for when you're sealing wires up or whatever. If you just need to pinch something, if you're sealing like a, a line or something, like, an, like a rubber hose or something like that, it's just good for crimping things. And then you have the fish scaler and hook discorger and ruler. And last few functions, toothpick and tweezers and key ring and lantern hole. So it's a pretty good tool set. Um, I would find this very useful on my fishing trips. Last year I fished mainly with a champion, and I was reaching for it a lot, mainly for either the scissors or the corkscrew. And the corkscrew kind of seems like a useless tool at face value, but it's very nifty for untying knots. Especially knots you can't get your fingers on or can't get a bite on with pliers. Um, even with larger to medium sized fishing line you can thread that tip of that corkscrew in there sometimes and screw it in there and pull it loose. So I'm going to give a little demonstration of the tools here and why I think that personally I purchased the angler over the fisherman. Um, some people might say that scissors and a Phillips makes more sense for fishermen. Well, I mainly fish from a boat so, I find the pliers useful for just things around the boat, like shackles and whatnot, and I had to use a pair of pliers to undo like a camera, an oar lock. I had to use it to undo an oar lock to get the oars out of it, but uh, pliers would be very useful for that, turning small nuts and bolts just around the boat. 
or when you're fishing, you know, pulling hooks out of a fish. I'm going to use this little chub I've got here for a demonstration. Just for pulling pulling fish hooks out of a fish's mouth or if one gets stuck in your finger. But uh, I'm going to show you. Now another thing I think the pliers would be more useful for over the scissors on the fisherman, which is the other Victorinox fishing model would be the fisherman, this is the angler, would be for crimping these sinkers onto a line. You can do it with your teeth or with your fingers if you have strong enough fingers, but if you don't, pliers are the best way to go. So just take those and crimp it on there. Does the job pretty good, and then if you gotta take it off, does a good job of that too. Another thing is that you can, if you get it right in that notch for the wire cutter, you can snip a line with the pliers. So, just saw here on camera. These wire cutters will cut line. And let's see here. You can also use these pliers for like if you needed to tighten up a knot on a line. This is kind of a shoddily tied knot, but it's just here for demonstration purposes. So if you needed to tie something tight, you pinch it with the needle nose and pull it tight. Does a trick with that too. And next I'm going to demonstrate the uh, hook disgorger. Um, it might kind of seem redundant to have a hook disgorger when you already have a pair of pliers because you're going to reach for the pliers nine times out of ten to get a fish hook out of a fish's mouth. But something to note with the pliers, this is the extent of your reach right here. Okay, that's maybe like two and a half to three inches of reach. When you have a hook disgorger, it extends your reach almost twofold. So if the fish swallows the hook, you can kind of reach in there with this and kind of wiggle it out and pry it out. Which I'm going to demonstrate right here. You kind of just, you know, get it hooked up in there and kind of wriggle it out here and there. And out, of, out it comes. It's not as... Uh, safe as pliers because you might if you pop it out too fast you might send it flying or whatever but it's there if you need it and then if you don't do catch and release like me you've got this fish scaler right here you can scale the fish like i don't see why you would use this little fish scaler for scaling a fish if you're going to cook it at home but say you're camping and you want to catch like some smallmouth bass to just roast over fire or something or whatever you've got a little scaler right here and you've got some measurements on the scaler so you can measure your fish after you catch it and another reason why i picked the angler over the fisherman is just because a knife blade it'll cut line just as easily as a pair of scissors well you just kind of gotta you gotta play with it a little bit Obviously, scissors are more convenient, but a knife blade will do the trick. Especially this little pin blade right here. If you're worried about cutting yourself while you're manipulating your line or whatever, um, this little blade, a lot safer to use than the bigger knife blade because you're just less likely to... There's a longer distance between whatever it is that's going to get poked by the knife... <laughs> And the edge of the knife just because it's a shorter blade and it's more a little more exact a little easier to work with than being a smaller knife blade um other than that everything on here is pretty basic you know you got your can opener i've used that before to open up a can of beef stew on the river just because it'd pack a lunch box
But there you have it, guys. Victorinox Angler. Go check it out. It's a pretty good knife. Um, be a great knife to have live in your tackle box, even if you only use it and you go fishing. Still serving its purpose. I carry, um, mainly I carry something like this Swiss tool here with me every day, day to day. But fishing, you know, summer, it gets hot out. You don't really want a lot weighing you down. Just having this in your tackle box and then maybe a one hand opening knife blade in your pocket. Pretty prepped, ready to go. So anyway, it's Matt Guyver signing out.